Hi, I'm Kevin Jones, curator of the Fitted Museum, and you're in storage with me right now. Kevin, what day is it today? Well, today is November 15th, 2020. And what does that mean? That means today is my 20th anniversary with the Fitted Museum. Woo! Woo! So to celebrate my anniversary today, we're going to look at my bookends of collecting. The very first piece I ever brought into the museum, actually when I was still the collections manager, and the latest piece which we just got this week. Okay, so this is kind of a fake unboxing because we actually hang this up. But since it's unboxing, we're going to unbox this. So my very first acquisition for the Fitted Museum is this 1988 Yves Saint Laurent couture suit. I saw the suit originally in an auction in Dallas. It was um, a small auction house called Hearts that doesn't exist anymore. And I received a flyer that had this photographed and I thought it was so magnificent that we had to buy it. So the suit is from the uh, winter collection of 1988 and originally cost $19,000. It's made of a very beautiful what, teal, tealy green silk moray with lesage embroidery. The thing that drew me to this suit is, of course, this magnificent Lesage embroidery, which um, is a, you know, a cascade of leaves. Each leaf was done individually, wired, and then appliqued onto the suit, uh, creating great dimension. Not only is the outside color very beautiful, but so is its incredible fuchsia purpley pink lining with the Yves Saint Laurent Couture label. Here we have the couture label with Saint Laurent's model number. So that's the model for this particular suit, made in France because this was imported, dry clean only, we know what that means. So this was imported to Neiman Marcus for the woman who wore it, embroidered jacket, turquoise color. And in case you were wondering, yes, the embroidery encircles all the way around the back of the neck. So here's our fabulous catalog. This is our working office copy because it's lost its cover, it's a little janky now, but <laughs> inside, Ta-da! Is the Saint Laurent uh, Couture Suit. We published this catalog in 2011 for Fabulous, uh, the exhibition, and I had contacted uh, Yves Saint Laurent asking for uh, the original drawing of the suit. And you can see the original jacket was uh, in yellow, whereas ours is in the teal green. Okay, for the second bookend, um, the latest acquisition is a Rudy Gernrich ensemble from the 1950s, but this is not that outfit. I will be showing to you that in a minute. Uh, but I want you to see this beautiful day dress, shift dress, and matching coat. So we acquired this ensemble last year from a dealer here in Los Angeles. And this is our tag for the museum. G means Rudy Gernreich, 2018, and we purchased it. Now, for Walter Bass, if you notice, we have 1955 on it. However, there's going to be a change. Welcome to my office. So we actually don't have our latest acquisition, um, but here it is. This is the actual Rudy Gernrich jacket we just acquired at the Augusta auction this week. This ad for Rudy Gernrich is from uh, the archive, uh, but we do not know which magazine it came from, perhaps the LA Times or maybe Women's Wear Daily. And so it is for this design from 1958. Because of the ad in the archive, we know that this jacket is from 1958, and it's made of the exact same white striped cotton from the ensemble that we just looked at, which means that that one actually is from the same season, 1958, not circa 55 as we originally thought. Well, my first 20 years has been pretty fabulous. <laughs> and uh, I have an exhibition catalog to prove it called Fabulous. But I'm really looking forward to the next 20 years and who knows what we're going to find. And think of the beautiful designs that are going to be created that we'll have here at the Fitta Museum.